Hey everyone, welcome back to part two of our U.S. cross-country trip from the FS Academy VFR training series. Uh, we're sitting here at uh, Tacoma Narrows and we're getting ready to um, take off and head out to the a Apex Air Park. So we're right here on the VFR map. Uh, we're going to fly kind of southeast or southwest and we're going to get into some uh, mountains mountains here so we'll have to check our altitude and then kind of swing back around and then land here at apex so that looks kind of cool uh kind of looking at the nav log here real quick before we take off um we're going to leave the airport to the south and head for a small lake at the center of this island and then got to go to this island a lot of cool Oh, that's kind of cool served by small this island is served by small ferries the water diverts on a sharp turn to the right at that great bend and here we go it's lake cushman you see we got to start climbing uh, for towards 5,000 because we're getting ready to hit some uh, mountains here and that's right here Runway's coming to an end. And we got trees. Man, I'm gonna put putting the flaps up. It's very dangerous. Was, uh, that was shady takeoff right there. <laughs> oh man. That was major pucker factor for sure. Wow. All right, let's let's hang hang a left here. Let's get going to uh, the south. Had a little bit of issue uh, taking off with this aircraft on the last leg, so it's I'm hundred percent sure it's just me. All right, so we are going in the right direction. Looks like we got about five miles, six miles, six miles. And we'll continue, uh, continuously climb up since we're going to have to get past 5,000 feet anyways for these uh, mountains, I assume, are over there. So. This area is really nice. I have the um, airline management program called on air and I run a company uh, out of this out of this area So we're looking for an island that has a lake in the center of it. I'm guessing that's it right here because I see an island with a lake. Oh, actually, this might be this one right in front of us. Probably is. Yeah, 
yeah, I'm gonna say it. It is. What we got down there. Is it houses? Might be houses. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of probably too big for houses. All right, so let's look at this nav map. So we are heading towards point of interest 10. En route to the Great Bend lies Heron Island, served by a small ferry. I wonder if the ferry will be there. As far as I know, I'm not busting any airspace. Was no mention of it and actually didn't pull up any charts to see. on top of the uh, next point of interest. I don't see any ferry. So it's probably not not modeled. All right, so next is our, we'll go to our next point of interest and let's see. That is going to be the Great Bend. We're heading that way. Water diverts on a sharp right-hand turn past the southern end of Lake of Mason Lake en route. So we can see the water there. What they're talking about? Still going up. Damn it! Oh, sorry for the swear word. I'll put a dollar in the jar. All right, so we're going to our next point of interest here, uh, Lake Cushman. Continue ahead to the farthest end of the lake. Start climbing as you enter the valley towards altitude 5,000. It looks like we're gonna follow the lake. I don't wanna get too high. Just kind of fly over the mountains. Kind of wanna fly in between them. Might be dangerous, but fun. Sort of reminds me of the mountain flying mission. So we got two nautical, almost three nautical miles to the next point of interest. So let's check our nav map. So let's see, let's make some change. Pull this down a little bit. Valley Bend, take a right through the valley, ensuring you correctly identified your route. That's about four miles. Then the Ducka Bush River, climb to altitude 7,200 feet on this leg towards the next valley, cross the right of Mount Ducka Bush. All right. So we can see a valley here on my um, 
synthetic view on my G1000. And you can see it right here too. get five about five thousand we're gonna hang a right actually don't know I assume what's the heading it's supposed to be going on yeah for now, I'm going right. Could be wrong, according to the, the point of interest, I'm definitely going wrong. I don't think this is the right way. Well, I guess we need to practice one of those um, valley turns. Oh, crap. All right, 30 degree bank. Mountain fine lesson did come handy. All right, so I was not supposed to turn here. I was supposed to climb and go over this part of the mountain. I'm almost positive. I guess this is about a good spot to turn. into the mountain diverted for now I think I see what we're doing we're hopping over this gonna probably follow that river Bush River. Climb to 7250 on this leg towards the next valley. Cross the cross to the right of Mount Bush. Turn right into this second valley, weaving your way along the river. Take a look at the brothers directly south. Directly south of this point, elevation 6842 feet. Oh, I see what I did. I got the legs confused. I should have been at 1,700 feet anyways. No, I'm not sure which mountain range is the brothers. Whoop. 
trying to care. I went nuts there for a second. <sighs> yeah, not sure which one's the bros, but all right, we're gonna slow down. Looks like a building, a couple buildings down here on the side of the mountain. Okay, so after this, um, Nucklebush Town is where the river meets the open water at the end of this stretch, and that's where I need to land. So I think I'm going to start descending here. Airport is, I think it said here, what was it? So the air, airport elevation is 600 feet, so we need to join it downwind at circuit altitude 1600 feet. There's no chart. Okay. So I got 5,000 feet to get down. the airport was yes so I have to go past the water early feet we're gonna go out past this part of this lake and then there okay so let's look let's look for this little hook which I see it right in front of me so the airport should be right there across the river Altus is going down nicely. We need to be at 1,600 feet. Still don't have the airport in sight, not yet. Let's zoom in here with my binoculars. Nothing yet. Definitely further than it looked. So yes, I think we are going the right way. Where are you at, airport? Oh, I see a light. Good shape. Am 
might be right here on top of this like little hill. Definitely, yeah, that's it. I don't need to, you know, bad part is I'm kind of close to circuit altitude. I don't need to do that. I can turn down one right now. Okay. Turn base. Watch the speed. Final. That's a short runway, oh my goodness. Gotta work on my pattern. Entry. That's another thing on my list. Gotta work on that pattern, pattern entry. Wow. This is the right way to come in. There's a building there. That doesn't even look like a runway. Oh my gosh. Oh. We're down. Some brakes. Oh, man. I think I maybe should have landed on runway 35. I ran, landed on 17. Whew. All right. So I've learned a couple of things from this, uh, from the U.S. tour. I need to learn how to get into the pattern. It, it, enter the pattern better i'm just not doing it good enough so i think if i can get into the pattern the correct place it'll ease my turn for base and final but all right it's done you've seen it now you know what not to do uh thanks for sticking around and i'll see you next time for the new zealand uh, cross country